Hey everyone, Happy New Year. Here's the start to a great 2020. I wish everyone health and happiness. Um, thank you for joining me tonight or today. It's nighttime for me, um, but thanks for joining me. Um, I just, before I get started, wanted to show you guys my green triptych. Um, it is now dry. It does still need the two coats of gloss, gloss varnish by Liquitex, but I wanted to show you guys how nicely it dried. And you can see the little shimmer there from my iridescent Pebeo paint. Um, I'm really, you know, like I said, sad that the, you know, second half of my video didn't pan out. Um, but at the end of the day, I got the results I wanted, so I'm really happy with that. And there it is. That's what I'm looking for, that shimmer right there and there. Um, but I'm happy with how it turned out, and I'm also happy to say that this beauty has sold. So once I get the uh, Liquitex varnish on that, um, I will ship it off and it's heading off to the US. So that is that. All right, so tonight I am working on a triptych, but it's a small triptych. I am working, I decided to give it a go and try some eight by eight inch triptychs. So eight by eight, eight by eight, eight by eight. And I'm going to be using my new primary elements pigments now you've seen me use them before i think i've used them two or three times um, and i've tried all kinds of different you know methods and all that so i am gonna try again but this time i am using liquitex pouring medium so i wanted to give this a go and give this a try and see how this one works out so the colors I am going to be using tonight, here I'm going to line them up so they're all together and I'll show you them one by one. All right. So the first color I'm going to be using is called Meridian Blue, okay, primary elements, and I'll show you what it looks like. Hopefully you can see the shine in that. I really hope you can see that. Um, so that is the first color. And then of course, my, one of my absolute favorites is Jasmine. So that is, there we go. You can see it there. Next color. Let me show you what that looks like. Now these are really, really runny, very runny, very, very runny. So again, I don't know how it's gonna work out, but we'll figure it out. Uh, this is Snapdragon. So that is Snapdragon. And as always, I mentioned in one of my last videos um, when I use these is what, you, what I do is after I've mixed the colors, I take my finger and I dab it and I put it on the top because this color isn't always the same color that will come out. So for example, this one looks like a light lilac-y kind of purple, um, but in fact, it's actually, a, it turns out to be a really dark purple. So let me show you. It's almost like a blue purple. So that's why I put a little dab on the top so that you can see what it looks like. And here's another prime example. So this one's called Mystic Blue, okay? So look at that. So it looks all nice and blue and you think, oh, it's blue, but it's not. It's actually like a turquoise color. So let me show you what that is. So it's like a turquoise color, which is really nice actually. The shimmer in this is stunning. So this is what I mean, right? So you're looking at this and thinking, oh, I'm gonna get blue, but this is what you actually get. So this is why I put a dab of it on the lid so that when I'm, you know, going through my 50 colors that Leslie sent me from Color Art, I know I just look at the tops here, right? I just look at my tops and I know what they what the colors look like. So, we are going to try these colors and get started. Now I am still going to use my regular 
um, you know, Dutch pour white that I use all the time. And I'm gonna give this a go. And I'm not gonna flood it like I did with my other attempts with the primary elements, no flooding. So I'm gonna give this one a go and we'll see how this triptych turns out. So I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna flood my canvases with the white. There's no need for you to see all that. I'm gonna use my lovely spatula to flood it with and spread it and I'll be right back guys. Give me a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm back. I have flooded my canvases with my white. Just gonna use my culinary torch here to pop all the bubbles real quick. And before I forget, um, if you would like to purchase these primary elements pigments, there um, are, I can't even tell you how many colors. There's so many colors, I didn't even know where to, where to start looking. Um, but if you head on over to the color art website, I will have the link listed below in the description of my video. Click on the link and whatever you buy on that website, if you use code CANELA120, so 120, CANELA120, and you can save 20% off the entire website. So it's a good deal, it's a good discount, so head on over and check it out. There's so many things you can buy, not just the primary elements, there's polypore, vivid enamel, you name it, you'll find it. So head on over, I will link, as I said, the website in the description below. Okay, so I'm gonna get started and while I'm pouring, I'm gonna keep talking. A uh, huge thank you to Sylvie for the PayPal donation. Uh, very, very generous, generous of you, thank you very much. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Mystic Blue, although it looks like turquoise. I wish I could squeeze the cup and get a little tip going, but I can't, so I'm gonna have to wing it. All right, this is so weird without my squeeze bottles, but it is what it is. Okay, followed by Snapdragon. Okay, so I hope everybody had a good holiday. I hope everybody had a good time with family and friends. And, you know, you guys had a good Christmas, got some nice gifts, all that. Um, I had a good time. My family had a good time. It was all good until uh, I was driving home from a birthday party with my kiddos. And uh, I was on the highway or freeway, as you guys call it in the U.S. And my car got hit, my windshield got hit by a massive rock. So that was Jasmine. And then the last color is Meridian, yeah, Meridian Blue. So anywho, uh, I got hit with a stone and it seriously cracked my windshield while we were driving. Uh, luckily we were okay and nothing happened. But unfortunately for me, I could not, they could not fix the chip, which means my whole windshield had to get replaced. So last thing I wanted to do was spend a thousand dollars right after Christmas for a new windshield. Yeah, it really sucked. It was not fun. So a thousand dollars because my windshield, lucky me, my car has all these safety features and all these gizmos and gadgets like safety lane departure and, you know, rain sensing wipers and, you know, head headlights and all that stuff. So all that stuff is integrated into the windshield, which means it's a more expensive windshield. So yay, a thousand dollars right after Christmas. That really sucked. Anywho, that was my holiday. So I've gone ahead poured all my colors. I'm not going to flood it and I'm just going to blow like I normally do halfway this way, halfway that way. And these are small canvases. So I am expecting the colors to go off the edges, which is totally fine because you know, it's, it's a small canvas. These are eight by eights. You usually I'm working on 12 by 16. So anywho, let's give it a go and see what happens.
What sells? Holy cell mania. That's insane. So the cells are being caused by the Floetrol that's in my white. That is insane. All right, I'm gonna blow this over. Like so. Wow, these colors are so vibrant. Oh, wow. The center in here, I it's so, so rich in color. I love it. All right, now I'm gonna blow this to match this. And actually, let me pull it apart. So it has transferred over, as you can see here. So I'm gonna have to clean that off and uh, add some white there because we definitely don't want that. And now these primary elements, guys, they are super pigmented. And I tell you, they, as you can see, or maybe you can't, they uh, really stain. So let me wipe this off before it really gets, ah, nice. So here, let me see if you can see what I'm doing. So it was all color there. Let me blow this over and then I'll add whatever white needs to be added. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. All right. So let that drip down and then I am, can you see? Yeah. I'm just gonna add white here because I wiped it all off. And this is why I love squeeze bottles because you just pour and voila. Okay, so now they match pretty much, almost, but these match perfectly, perfectly they match. Holy, the cells here are insane. They're really taking over. This might end up being like a cloud pour or something because they're really taking over and they're starting to swallow up my colors. This is gonna be interesting to see how it dries actually. It just might be like a cloud of white. Hmm, very interesting. I don't know what I should do to it. Should I blow it? Kind of interesting. I'm just experimenting here, so I might as well give it a go, right? It's not my regular Dutch pour. So I might as well play with it, because then if I don't, I'll regret it. I won't know what could have been, right? Holy cow, the colors are so rich. Now I'm sure there's a bunch of you saying, stop blowing, it was fine. But you know me, I wanna practice and play and figure it all out. So I actually like that. Let's see what I can do over here. Let me actually move it away from this one. I don't want it touching. I can't, when I bring you guys down for a close up, you're gonna see what I'm looking at here. These colors are so rich. All right, so let me bring it back. I might even just blow it all off the edges, you know that? Uh, 
there I'll leave some negative space all right so I'll leave that like that that one's okay let's see what I can do with the center I like that. By doing this, I'm actually also blowing off a lot of excess white paint, which is actually kind of good because there's a lot of white paint there because I flooded a lot of white paint. All right, so I blew that side. I'm gonna flip this guy around and just see what I can blow on this side. Okay. Ooh, look at that purple. So there's definitely not going to be a lot of negative white space happening here. But I really am liking this cloud effect that's happening. It's actually kind of neat. It's very soft too. So let me bring you guys down for a close up. I wanted it to run over the edge. Let's see what else is going on. This one's cool. I like these. This is so interesting. Okay, okay. I should bring you down so you guys can see. Now, I'm not torching anything either. So, because clearly I don't need to. But the colors on this is pretty cool. All right. Let me show you. Yeah, and of course, I forgot to move my light. But... Uh, look at that. It's pretty cool. I'm, it's almost like a cloud effect, which is kind of neat, actually. Lots of cells happening here. Lots. The white, definitely, definitely, with the flow troll, is causing this reaction. But I'm really liking it. I've never done anything like this before. And it's actually quite different and quite cool. It'll be very interesting though to see how it dries because we all know the dried result is what matters, right? So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, check out all my information listed in the description below. Like I said, the color art website link is listed below. So is my code Canela120 and you get 20% off the entire website, guys. So check it out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. Um, you know, it would really, really be uh, helpful for me if you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell, guys. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. Check out my Amazon links to my shop so you can purchase items that are in my Amazon shop. If you need spatulas or the culinary torch or push pins or anything like that. And my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate that is also listed below. Thanks very much, guys. Again, Happy New Year. All the best to you guys for 2020. I wish you guys nothing but health, joy, and happiness. I will see you guys soon. Until the next video, take care. Have a good night. Have a good morning. Bye-bye.